Hi guys, I just want to show you how to change your back brake, back brake pads on uh, Opel or Vauxhall Astra 1.3 diesel 2011. Um, first, as you can just see, have the jack there. Open your nut while the car's weight is on the wheel so you won't spin the wheel. And make sure when you're parking the car, don't have the electronic brake pulled up, handbrake pulled up because you'll never get the brake pads out. I know it seems simple, but you can do it. Just put the car in gear. So when you get your wheel off, and she's jacked up. Don't forget to put an accent stand here. I'm just too lazy. Um, now, so next, we take off this nut here. Try that to focus a bit. This nut here, and you can see the ratchet going in there. It's kind of hard to see it there. You can see the two nuts. On top of you, like this one here and the one directly down there. You need an extension bar for this fella here. Oh my god, what's okay? There, you need an extension bar for this because it's very hard to get in there. It's very tight, so use an extension bar and she'll prop off there. Make sure your uh, handbrake is turned off and just in gear. Now that the, the bolts are off. You'll check out this caliper. Sometimes you can feel like see it's not won't really come off. So you have to use a bit of persuasion, just tip it there, tip it in the bottom. As you can see it lifting. Just keep and then just walk it off. It will come off for a few tips and uh, I'll show you the next stage. As you can see, there's the brake pad. Literally not in left, and which is weird. The other one has meat on it. This has none. And the far side is the same. There's loads of meat on it. And this one's bald. This one's just gone. So I don't know what really happened. And I'll show you what to do. You just push back this piston now, and I'll show you that. Now, as you can see, you got the push in. Well, it's actually not pushing it back. You twist it back. As you can see, look, just different ones. So it has the, the teeth on it there, so you, t you just twist these back, some you push back, so you have to look at your own manual and figure it out. But most of them do have little grooves to show you that they're pushed back. And that's the little kit you get on eBay, I think it was like 30 euro or something, I can't really sure. It was years ago, but they're still cheap anyway. So you just push that on, and you put that in and you just twist back, twist back the piston back in here. And then you can put in your new brake pads. As you can see, they're out now. So, what the next stage is too is when you get your brake pads out, is uh, put this stuff on it. Copper Asla slip, sorry, copper slip, or I call it copper grease, whatever you want to call it. Um, there is there. So, you put it on the back of your brake pads, see on the back there. So it stopped uh, squeaking. You often hear cars squeaking going by. I get rid of the squeaking and put it on your put it on your nuts on here and all around here on the face on the plate of the the hub. So it stop all that squeaking as well. You get a lot of that from uh, our lovely weather when we get over here. As you can see, they're on now. There's the new pads on there now, nice and meaty. You can see there's the old one. I'll stand up against the new one there. You can sort of see the difference. Like, there's the wrong way around. You can see there's not left. <laughs> that's why they squeaked. So that's it, boys. Just put on your wheel, tighten your nuts, and she is finished. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe and give me some nice comments. Thank you. Uh, see you in the next video.